hello hi uh, hope you people are doing well uh, let us start our one more uh, lesson and uh, i say again again let me tell you uh, we are near to uh, near to finish our syllabus now the lessons uh, it is all about applications uh, different level application that uh, that including health water resources then disaster management uh, so different kinds of application what are the major applications of uh, geographical information system <coughs> in uh, uh, that resource management resource one so today's lesson that is all about um, water water resource management how to manage these kinds of things and uh, uh, yes <coughs> let me tell you see we have completed that raster analysis raster interpolation um, then what Uh, DEM based studies, why? Right? Uh, how to uh, how why why the DEM is important? Digital elevation model uh, in in geographical information. I have explained uh, so many so many things that uh, raster interpolation. Then uh, one more thing, fine. Right? Uh, that kinds of analysis, raster analysis, and interpolation method. I have explained those kinds of rigging, IGW, um, then. in that one raster interval slope fine right? dm what you mean by curvature fine right? what you mean by u shed uh then what you mean by aspect this kinds of things i already <coughs> explained well so that is known as terrain modeling and uh, yes that uh, enough explanations are there you can go through the you simply you can go through the lesson and uh, you can you can get the what information so it is also a continuation of that one uh, that is how to apply this techniques for different uh, different in different sector right how to study about different spatial aspects right uh, that means mapping certain resources managing certain resources uh, so basically the cartographer or ca uh, geographer what they are doing they are just managing the different resources basically we people are managing certain uh, land resources so the water and resources that is kind of clearly connected with land uh, that uh, land management see you know that seen in kerala there is a uh, land use board right there are so many geography, geography people are working on that uh, with that organization right um, so that kinds of things we, we, we people are doing see basically uh, the the concept of uh, spatial pattern spatial behavior uh spatial process to understand about this spatial pattern spatial process and spatial behavior with the help of this geographical and uh, with the help of this geographical knowledge fine with the help of this gis and with the help of this remote sensing and also we people are studying about this kinds of things and analyzing the data and generating the certain thematic map that thematic map helps to certain decision supporting uh, that thematic map or maps that is a, a decision making tool so what we people are doing we people are doing this kinds of analysis certain uh, location based studies and generating certain thematic map with the help of this gis so you know that the gis and remote sensing it is a interlinked and uh, see this is remote sensing is the major source of data to process geospatial processing we people are acquiring the data with the help of remote sensing and we people are processing geospatial processing geo processing for certain thematic map for getting certain thematic map that uh, depicts spatial pattern spatial process and uh, uh, spatial behavior certain predictions so in that one today we people are going to discuss about uh, that remote sensing the concept of remote sensing not much just just giving an uh, that uh, a source of data collection then watershed management flood man flood management see i will let explain in uh, in that uh, how to use this uh, gis for disaster management landslide and flood management that will we will discuss on uh, that uh, application of gis in disaster management then ground water Uh, water quality and permit permit i am not exp uh, explaining much i will give you i will give you a small explanation so basically watershed management flood man uh, ground water and water quality uh, that is the three things we people are going to discuss today 
see in that last lesson in that raster interpolation slope dm i have explained so many things how the dm is relevant for us fine here uh, remote sensing there are uh, different explanation uh, it is all about collecting certain uh, what certain uh, kinds of images different kinds of images multi spectral images and we people are using uh, this uh, images for studying about um, for different we will we will study about different aspects different spatial aspects fine so in that one that uh, 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 that uh, uh, different is to study about flood management monitoring changes in uh, stream channels in association with the traditional gis can provide information for uh, all gis water resource projects provide static snapshot of water conditions not an active system like stream uh, monitoring gages strong temporal scale component used for flood plain denilation uh so that is the, so that see it is it we try to understand the remote sensing is a, a major source of what providing data right different kinds of images and certain kinds of indices and analysis if you are interested to learn about this kinds of things you can see my remote sensing videos in the uh, in the lesson you can get that videos from my uh, from that group fine so watershed management here uh, that uh, major, major thing is terrain modeling flow modeling debris flow probability see uh, in gis watershed planning in geography or gis in geology or this uh, geosciences watershed management is very important there are so many steps to oh, denilate watershed and properly manage uh, very uh, what how to use Oh, that uh, extracting the maximum potential from the watershed that is very important for managing the resources fine the whole world is full of watershed fine we people are living in a watershed fine see proper uh, that mismanagement of water that is the uh, main problem of uh, what what we people are facing today that problems are mainly because of the mismanagement of watershed a stream and uh, the adjoining place so that is step is terrain modeling flow modeling debris flow probability that's kinds of things that kinds of pro, uh, procedures we will follow to get the result uh, that uh, denilation of watershed so i have already said that importance of dam uh, dam based studies the, the all this watershed and all those things it is clearly based on dm digital elevation model and you can uh, see nowadays it is really available srtm dem is available Geolo us geological survey providing srtm 30 meter resolution dem is providing then our uh, that uh, indian satellites that is providing 60 meter resolution dm provide uh, are providing then as alaskan satellite facility that people are providing 12.5 meter dm right for educational purpose not for uh, but uh, industrial purpose you can ed educational purpose you can download this kinds of material right uh, try to search and uh, try to try to use this kinds of resources right i can show each and everything in the uh, what in this class try to use this kinds of things and uh, see the major uh, major thing this watershed management so you can read this Uh, creation of dm terrain modeling automated watershed extraction from topography for denilation direction and accumulation it is all connected with the slope aspects uh, that i explained what do you mean by dm what are the different types of slope you can see that video it's all connected with this kinds of things then uh, flow modeling that is flow direction and accumulation contributing area analysis stream or ring you know that stroller method have you heard about stroller method we try to refer it fine uh, then uh, dm based study it is a dm that opened in a uh, ga software then what is that is debris flow probability saturation and uh, viscosity calculation these all are done by the machine that hardware and software combination and let me tell you one more thing uh, for uh, that commercial software 
in ArcGIS, we people are using one tool set that is known as Arc Hydro. In that one, there are uh, 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 some other tools, uh, sub tools that is known as Fill, then Stream Order. And so many tools are there for uh, generating thematic maps. Next one is uh, after watershed manner, next one is groundwater to study about groundwater, to map about groundwater, where the potential source of groundwater is located. Location based studies are very important. So that is modeling, subsurface flow, flow rate, advocation, con uh, concentration, well and spring models. See, uh, in, in this one, you can use uh, certain kinds of uh, that uh, remote sensing images. Uh, I think it is very useful for that radar and uh, lidar types of images for groundwater monitoring where the potential zones are there. And one more thing you can easily understand about uh, what uh, what kinds of uh, is that uh, what is that the, you can understand the potential zone where the potential zones are there. And you can assess the water quality based on research tools that is available in GIS. Then water quality, water water quality management of surface and subsurface water, use of GPS and photographic tie points, use of passive and active water quality monitoring system, uh, management of surface and subsurface water, instrument based ass assessments used in conjunction with the GIS GPS size location of sample collection to map the uh, map to show patterns and distribution water quality measurements of oxygen ph a portability of the ph stands for portability of the water bacterial garden etc measure flow rates and uh, turbidity see you can map you can prepare certain thematic map uh, with the help of dm data or radar or lidar data radar means radio detection and raging Lidar means light detection and these kinds of images are available nowadays for these kinds of physical geographical studies. Use of GPS and photographic type points, uh, hot linking functions relate pictures, reports and tables for each location with a single system. GPS transformation scan relay real time information on water flow and quality. Use of passive and active water quality monitoring systems depends on costs and risk may not be advanced active systems on river that floods often, but it's far from any settlement or developments need to consider quantity of measuring uh, stations more stations equal greater detail and accuracy, but greater cost. So that is all about see that major application that uh, uh, nowadays we people are using that is for watershed uh, watershed management groundwater water quality and last one is permitting see it is it is simple that uh, that is known as uh, permitting management system actually uh, we will use the GA, gis tools uh, it is something a uh, something a what it's a system based on computer they will so store certain data, maps and all those things. Based on that one, uh, that issuing permit. That means issuing license and see the better example, you know. In Kerala, in Chittur, Chittur Taluk is a place, you have to get a, a prayer permission to dig the borewells. It is based on the study that uh, clearly study about water scarcity in that place in Chittur. So that kinds of permitting management system is running, fine. It is clearly based on geographical data, geographical analysis, spatial data or spatial analysis. So that is all about today's class. So what today we learned about the watershed management, flood, uh, not flood management, groundwater and water quality. So different things, pH value, oxygen content, bacterial content, that's kind of things. They are getting certain samples, collecting certain samples and making certain thematic maps. So that is all about the application of what is that application of GIS in water resource management. Right. So you can ask your uh, questions, you can give your feedback. I always accepting feedback. And I'm ready to accept your feedback. You can ask, always ask your questions.
fine. Uh, you can always ask your question and I will, I will answer, try to answer for the question. And there is a uh, big gap between the theory and practical. Definitely, we will try to uh, cope up with this issue if the colleges are reopening. I will try to, to check the issues and we will clear, clear these issues. Fine. And uh, see, regularly watch the video and regularly attend the assessment. That is the only way to uh, what? Clear the examination and getting better score. Else you people will face certain issues. Kindly do that things regularly. Kindly ask questions. And I will try to clear that question. Fine. So it is all our technical terminology. And I have used, I have, I have experience in using with this uh, Arc Hydro toolbox. We can uh, generate certain um, what? Uh, certain watershed maps and thematic maps and all those things. We can do that. Right? So thank you. Thanks for watching my video lesson. Kindly and regularly watch the lessons and ask your doubts. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.